Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys, peep game. All right, so Chris Mannix comes out and says that Terrence Bud Crawford, by no stretch of the imagination, is a pound-for-pound -pound fighter. Okay. Now, as you guys know, I'll be catching little shit. I catch little shit, and I'll keep it a buck. And once again, you know me. You know I don't give a damn what nobody think. And I'm going to keep it 100. You know, um, Chris Mannix, to me, is starting to show show his hand. He's starting to show me what, what time it is with him. This is the same dude a couple of weeks ago that just totally tried to disregard Devin's victory, you know, disregard his victory over Gamboa, and he started talking that superficial uh, fake shit. Well, you know, Devin isn't as marketable as, you know, Tank and, and Ryan Garcia, you know, he doesn't, oh, why? Why? Why, because he act like he got common sense? Because he conduct himself as a professional. So that so once again, so once again, you gotta act a damn fool, right? To draw interest, right? So you have to conduct yourself like Floyd or Adrian Broner, right? For people to take interest in you. So basically, to a certain degree, it gotta be a minstrel show. Unless a black fighter put on a minstrel show and you know, act like a damn fool and act like he don't got no home training. He not marketable to a, to a wide audience, huh? So that just goes to show you, you know, what people think of black people. And particularly black men. So, here go the thing. And I'm, I'm finna keep it a buck. Blue put the video out and I decided to watch it and respond to it. You know, Blue doing his thing. And if any of you niggas, and I've seen niggas speak on that shit, any of you niggas come to my channel trying to, you know, double talk and try to, you know, try to be a double agent on some real shit, you busted. On some real shit, you busted. You're showing, you're showing your hand. For real. You're showing your hand. So let me get this straight. You finna co-sign a white man? Boy, y'all, once again, you showing who the real, you showing who the real coons is. You know, once again, the fake pro-black shit. The fake, you know, whole tip shit. But, uh, you know, you, you know, town biz is always up on game. I seen a couple of niggas that was like co-signing that shit. That was black. I mean, like I said, some of you Errol Spence nut huggers and apologists, y'all, like I said, worse than white people. I'm just keeping it. A, I'm just keeping it a hot buck. It gotta be said. Some of y'all can dick yourself like white people. Real talk. So now, because Chris Mannix speak it, oh, it's the gospel. You had niggas on there say, "See, this is what I'm talking about, coon, coon, handkerchief head." Sambo, Buck Dancer. Man, like I said, bro, it's pathetic. Like how some of you dudes act. Y'all really need to take a look in the mirror, man. Because y'all are blatantly showing y'all bias. Like I said, I already know what it is, though. Because I, I get it. I get it. I get it. Bud keep passing every test and prevailing every obstacle they throw in the way. You know, I did a live stream. Y'all need to check it out. I broke it down. You know, because like I said, I told you, man. Um, you know, I have my own opinion. And I told you, I don't follow nobody's script. I do my own thing. I have my own opinion. And I'm just, keep, I'm just keeping it 100. I'm just keeping it 100 about this shit. So like I said, so now because a white man voiced his opinion, 
and speak against Bud. Now all of a sudden, y'all enjoying it. Now all of a sudden, see, see. So, you know what I'm saying? Okay, cool. Like I said, once again, y'all showing y'all hand. Y'all showing y'all hand. So what? So whatever uh, Zaddy think of, of Bud is the gospel. So whatever I, I say or don't say is not factual. But whatever a white man say is is vindication, is certification. Like I said, it's a lot of ass backwards niggas on YouTube that make videos and that comment. So I'm just keeping it 100. I, like I said, I just be people shit out. Chris Mannix is the same dude that ripped Devin Haney for basically being a professional. Like I said, at the end of the day, I, I could read between the white lines. And I'm not talking about cocaine, even though probably a lot of those announcers probably do uh, snort a little, you know, powwow. But at the end of the day, I see right between the white lines or white lies, whatever you want to call it. Because like I said before, I'm not worried about backlash. I'm not worried about people saying, hey, you know, your town is making stuff because it is about race. And anybody that say it ain't, you a damn lie. Like I said, why is it that a black person can't win for losing? You conduct yourself like Andre Ward, they don't like you. You conduct yourself like Floyd Mayweather, they don't like you. They got something to say. Like you can't win for losing. People are never satisfied. And like I said, they only do this to black people. They try to pull you. You got people tugging on you, trying to pull you in so many different directions when it's only uh, only one of you to go around. When it's only one of you, you got to go one direction. You know what I'm saying? If it's if it's a one way street, you got to go down the one way street. But for real, I'm just like I'm just like tired of this shit. Like for real, I actually saw some niggas in the comment section who I could tell was black cosigning what that what that white man said man f man for real fuck y'all man i'm just keeping it 100 like i said and now i'm starting to see who the real coons is but y'all calling other people coons and insinuating other people as coons man get out of here this your boy town biz i'm out